Hello, fans of Agile Coding, today powered by AI. I'm going to use GitHub Copilot, your AI pair programmer, to yeah, do some coding, add a REST API to an existing Spring Boot application. So the Spring Boot application is already prepared in my IDE in IntelliJ. It's based on latest Spring Boot version. It has already some other classes, connection to database and stuff. And now I want to add a new API and I, I'm doing this in the Copilot package. So first of all, I create a new REST controller. Since I want a REST API, I call it AI tool controller. And this one is a REST controller. So far, we didn't see anything of Copilot, but that will start soon because um, in my IntelliJ IDE, I have um, a Copilot plugin already installed. Yeah, you see it here by this icon. And as soon as you are typing something and it has some ideas about what you want to do, it, it starts uh, to provide text completions, which you can take or um, not take, depends if, uh, if it is a good idea and that is helpful. So here you see already we have the first suggestion to write this kind of comment, but I want a comment which explains what I want to do. I want a get endpoint, not for AI tool, uh, for read AI tool by ID from, oh, let's say MongoDB, that's true. I'm, I'm using the MongoDB in this demo. So the next suggestion would be to create a post entry comment. Yeah, we will write a post method and a get method. So let's take also this comment, but shift it a little bit down. And here we start now with our first get mapping. So now it suggests already a pass. It suggests a pass AI tool slash ID. So we got that we want to have it by ID. So we will change the pass to slash AI slash ID. And then let's see what it suggests now. Nothing at the moment. So let's start typing public. Get AI tool by ID, okay. So we want an AI tool class and let's see if it has some more suggestions. Um, there is a shortcut to go through suggestions. No, it does not. And if you don't get more suggestions by keyboard shortcuts, you can also um, open this sidebar, click on refresh, and then we will see other options about what we could do. Yeah, so the first one looks good. Here it is also offering the parameter a string ID, which you want, of course, to have, and it is a pass variable. It returns null. Well, let's take this for now and do the imports. I have to create this class and I create it as a record. Okay, and this AI tool shall get two parameters. Here we have string ID, string name, yeah, really a huge bunch of stuff. But for this demo, I guess all these things are not important. So we will just take string ID and string name. And um, since I want to store this later in my uh, MongoDB, I will directly add two annotations. Um, it will be a document and the ID is the uh, ID for the database to, to find it later. Yeah? So I add now those annotations. So let's get back to our code. As I said before, we want to read it from a database. So I need to auto wire um, a repository. And since this doesn't exist, I start typing and I get directly a good suggestion, private AI tool repository, and let's call it AI tool repository, sounds good. I take this copilot suggestion and I have to create this AI tool repository as an interface. 
And now let's see what it offers here. We have to extend it. Well, let's see, what do we have here? Reactive Mongo repository AI tool string. That is exactly what we need, but we don't want to have this long pass here. So let me see if I get something else. Side menu. No completions found. Okay, so we take exactly this. Yeah, the pass is a little bit long, so let's shorten it and do the import. But that's it. Yeah, so that looks pretty good now. Good suggestion. And now let's go back to our code here and see if we get something else. Return AI tool find by ID block. Okay, so now we have in an Webflux uh, reactive, uh, Spring Webflux reactive backend a blocking method. Um, we don't want to have this, so let's return a mono of an AI tool. Mono is a reactive type. I have to import the class, of course, and then I don't need to block. Okay. That looks good so far. So let's go for the post endpoint. Uh, no, we need a post endpoint. So we have to have post mapping for AI. Looks good. Here we are directly returning a mono of AI tool. Okay. And we create the AI tool. Um, here we are, uh, I'm missing the um, add request body annotation to tell it that um, we get a post request and we take it from the body. Um, so let's see if we get this. Let's see if it needs some help. So it consumes application JSON, that's true. And now let's check if we get one with the required annotation. No, unfortunately not. Okay, so I want to take this and let's see if I get now something here. Request body, no. Okay, so I um, write this by hand and I save it in the database. Uh, here we are lacking an attribute pass. Okay, and what else could we do? We could do some kind of validation. Um, so I'm not using spring validation right now, so let's do some validation by hand here in case that we get an ID which is null or is blank. Then we return mono empty. Um, oh. What, what did it know? So let's check this again. If we get, okay, then we return mono empty. Um, or I want to do some validation based on regular expression matches. And here we get already a suggestion for um, regular expression, but I want my ID to be only um, digits and at least one digit. And instead of returning an empty, I want to throw an error. Throw new illegal argument, exception, ID must be a number. Yes, uh, but I have to say probably no. Um, okay, if it doesn't match this, then it's not a number and well, I'm not sure if that is an inversion. <laughs> um, let's check it once again without this part. And the interesting thing is somehow Copilot um, understands uh, this check before and now I would get a different uh, message suggested here. ID must be um, must not be null or blank. Yeah, that's true. That fits to this. Um, and if I add now what I had before, um, ID matches digit 
and if it's not a digit like this, um, then I will get once again a different um, suggestion for the description ID must be a number. So let's take this. Let's define also our return response codes. Yeah, so here in this case, I want a response status. Okay, that looks good. And here I want a different, re oh, we got already, yeah, the correct response status created. So let's take exactly this. So you see Copilot um, on, on previous code, it gets ideas what you want and it makes you different suggestions. Okay. And now let's add one last uh, method quickly. Add get mapping AI. So I want one method which returns all AI tools. Yeah, exactly this one, but we take a list as a response here. What does it complain here? Uh, it returns a flux. Okay, so let's use the flux. And then we don't have a list, we have just AI tool. That makes um, sense from the compiler. Um, some idea copilot didn't get so quick. Okay, uh, but we can, well, let's check it once again if we get also other suggestions. Yeah, so now it directly gives a good suggestion. Okay, so let's start our application. For your information, I have um, MongoDB already running in the background. I started it upfront as a Docker container. So here you see that we have a MongoDB running here. Mongo um, running now already for two hours. Okay, so let's go back to our console and we see the application. Yeah, it started, so it's up and running and we can switch to Postman to test our application. So first of all, let's add one AI tool to the database and that is of course Copilot. Yeah, so we get, get status created and get it back. Then let's have a second tool, which is BART. Start reading the things from the database. And we have, as before, we have one, which is Copilot, two, BART. And if I type now something invalid like 2A, I get the error ID must be a number. I get an internal server error 500. That is not so nice. So let's check if Copilot can do something about it. Um, convert illegal argument exception to HTTP 400 bad requests. That sounds good. We need an exception handler exactly for this exception. And like this, but this will be not working. Um, so here we are returning now a response, sorry, a response entity. Uh, we are just giving back the message. So it's a string that will not work. So I remove it and let's see what it suggests now. Response entity, bad request body and the message. That looks good. One quick restart. And the idea is now that I call once again this method with an invalid ID so that we get here. The exception is not a number and now it is handled by the exception handler and convert it into a bad request instead of um, the internal server, server error we had before with HTTP code 500. So let's check if that is working now. Yeah, we have here the bad request and the ID must be a number. Yeah, so 
that's it. In this presentation, you have seen Copilot in action while I was developing a Spring application. The more code you have, the better the suggestions um, and the text completions provided by Copilot are. And I'm pretty optimistic that in the future we will see a lot of great um, improvements in this area and how AI can help us in developing faster and in better quality. So if you liked my, my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.